afternoon, everyone. This is Mitch with SC Weather. Hope you are having a great start to your day as we're getting the weekend going here the day after Christmas. Uh, there's uh, another storm system that it looks exactly like the one that just went through uh, here on Christmas Eve and Christmas uh, for potentially New Year's Eve and New Year's. This looks like a potent and powerful system. Uh, the cold air coming behind it may not be as, as, um, as cold, but this looks like it has a different look to it. We're going to talk about this and uh, it definitely has, and here it is, here's a quick preview, uh, and here, here it comes, you got severe weather threat here, but check out this backside snow on the latest GFS showing in places like Nashville, Alabama, Mississippi, riding all the way up Kentucky to Ohio Valley, so this is going to definitely have an, another look to it, before we get going guys, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I much appreciate what you do, I'm currently about 82% of people who watch these videos have not subscribed, I talk about weather on the east coast here in South Carolina, uh, is where I, how I started getting into this, but because I'm located here in the Midlands of South Carolina. But hit the subscribe button. I, I, I try to post uh, at least daily or every other day about the weather here. Uh, this is a big time system. I'm very active on Twitter and Facebook and uh, very engaging. So leave a like, comment, and I will get back to you. So here we go. This is the big time system we're going to be talking about. It's producing. It's going to. It's probably going to produce a blizzard, a major, a major snowstorm in the upper Midwest. And as it gets cranking here, you got enough cold air pumping behind this thing to turn this backside moisture into snow. And as we're getting going, you think this thing is just going to go on and keep moving. It looks like it's almost weakening, but then you get something that taps into the uh, gulf here. You get a low pressure that rides around this uh, boundary of this front and taps into some heavy snow. Um, it's able to kind of enhance the moisture. So you get some heavy snow that breaks out over Tennessee, Kentucky. Back it up, even showing some snow to Louisiana and Mississippi. So, uh, of course, here in the Carolinas, this is not a favorable storm. This is kind of like an anti-front type thing. But I tell you what, we're going to watch this. See if this we can keep this thing keeping. Let's keep this thing trending kind of like it's digging more, more, more south, and we can see what we're going to get out of this. But right now, we're in the warm sector here in South Carolina. I'm going to show you all that here in the Carolinas and a lot of chunk of the southeast. So we're tracking warm air, so it's going to give us the potential for a severe weather threat again. But like I said, check out that heavy snow. So what does that heavy snow end up showing up on the GFS? Well, I'll show you here. So here we go. Here it comes. It's going to be a big storm. Watch the uh, snowfall pile up here in the upper Midwest. Uh, but here it comes. Uh, and there it goes. Look at that heavy snow. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer here. Um, in parts of Tennessee. Just a stripe of extremely heavy snow that rides up. It's it's not that wide, but it goes right through Nashville. Nashville almost a foot of snow here, according to the GFS. So uh, this is definitely overdoing it. It's probably going to change here in a few hours. But uh, just showing you what it shows right now. There, there might be a, a signal for something. So we're definitely going to watch that here. Um, we go to the Euro. The Euro is kind of similar, but it's obviously not quite as aggressive. Here comes the storm system. Uh, rides up, but de definitely has a change of rain moisture, ch changing the snow here in Nashville, parts of Tennessee. Um, it definitely looks different. You're, you're not seeing as much heavy snow in Ohio and uh, and K in Kentucky and things, but look at this good old line of moisture, and it's going to do the same thing here in the um, New England. So it looks like we're all going to have a mild uh, New Year's Eve, just like we all had a mild Christmas Eve. But uh, potential snow falling on New Year's Day on in Tennessee, parts of Tennessee again. They might end up getting a who knows. They might end up getting a white Christmas and a white New Year's. So I guess they're just not going to share. Y'all Tennessee folks aren't going to share over there or something. But no, nah, I'm just kidding. But here we go. So here's the European uh, run. It's definitely not as aggressive. Obviously, European likes to likes to keep things a little bit more real for us here. And uh, it definitely doesn't show a foot of snow in Nashville, but it does show snow in, in Memphis and things like that in places uh, all the way up through Indiana. So it definitely has the axis, axis of heavier snow or snow more west. So we're going to watch and see what this is going to do. This is going to be another interesting system for sure. Uh, this is the uh, GFS Ensemble, so the GFS Ensemble is obviously a big time symbol here in the um, <coughs> upper Midwest. And here it comes. We get a little bit closer here. There's obviously a, sim a, a signal. Even as we get closer, even more south, um, there's even a, a nice little signal in, in northern Mississippi of uh, some kind of snow falling back behind the system. So 
uh, we look at this hitting, you know, here's a little bit closer up view of the storm. But as we basically, you got this cold air funneling, not near as cold as uh, the Christmas storm, as I mentioned. But see these streaks of yellows and oranges? We're not obviously close enough into the short range modeling to, to really know how potent the severe weather threat will be. But we're under low pressure. We have warm air right here. And I'm about to show that too. Well, I'll go on and show it to y'all. This is high temperatures, potentially New Year's Eve, soaring into the low 70s for parts of Georgia, 80s in Florida, South Carolina, and Columbia. My guys and my people, my folks in Columbia, it might be in the low 70s for New Year's Eve, even into the uh, North Carolina coastal plains, into the Virginia. So you're getting into a warm sector. Warm front rides up here above the system. It's pouring down snow in, in, in uh, Tennessee. And uh, so that tells me right here that. We'll watch the speed of this system because the speed could definitely tweak a little bit. But it tells me right here, maybe New Year's Eve into overnight into New Year's, that no, ain't nobody going to be shooting fireworks in the southeast because it's going to be raining, it's going to be nasty, potentially snowing in Tennessee and uh, Kentucky and places in Ohio. But this, the timing of this is going to adjust a lot. But that's a good thumping of snow, uh, according to the GFS. And then the backside throws snow to the same areas that got snow Christmas Eve and Christmas um, yesterday and the day before. So uh, obviously warm sector, but behind it you get a you get a little bit of blast of colder air, not near as cold as what we we're experiencing right now and yesterday. But look at this little area right here, and uh, I'm going to show go back and show you this. This is something that's consistently been showing up, not maybe like this. And there's a lot of marginal cold air here, but check out what it does. It kind of gets going, and it blows up right here. So it gets suppressed, and then something blows up right here. And there's some kind of storm signal for the 3rd or 4th of January. That's pretty far out from where we are right now, guys. But uh, there's something here. The GFS keeps throwing it, and there's a little bit of cold air. Um, and obviously, it doesn't, doesn't do nothing here, and it shows all rain. But you, you got some cooler temperatures right here, and I'll try to get to that time frame. And, you know, this is around the time frame. So, uh, back it up right here. So, <clears throat> this is around when the storms right off the coast. You got 30s. So, that's something you need to watch for sure. But, let's jump it off back to the severe weather threat. Here it goes. Check out the winds. This is going to be another uh, high wind event, potentially. Um, so, even if we're not getting, like, uh, a huge line of storms, it's the, according to the European, it's showing strong winds. And I'll tell you, the winds were not that bad ahead of this front like everybody thought they were going to be a couple of days ago. Uh, I noticed that Christmas Eve actually did a tweet saying, man, the winds are just not bad compared to what they were supposed to be. There was not really any breezy conditions. Obviously, when the cold front moved through, it got real breezy and stayed breezy through Christmas. But um, this definitely pinpoints a high, strong wind threat with this. Uh, we'll, we'll look to see if it has any kind of tornado potential to it. The, the system for Christmas Eve did not pan out, which is a very good thing. Uh, so there was a lot of guidance starting to show that um, the eastern North Carolina had the potential for a tornado outbreak uh, Christmas Eve, and, and I don't think there was even one confirmed tornado. So um, that was a good thing. A very That was a big blessing there. So <clears throat> we're going to continue to watch the storm because the timing, I think, is going to change. And uh, the backside moisture interacting with the cold air, that's going to that's gonna change. Uh, but I'm watching more areas of central to western Tennessee this time. Maybe northern Mississippi. Maybe Memphis, Nashville. Uh, especially if the trends keep holding where um, the cold air is not interacting with the moisture far enough east in Tennessee. But we'll watch. We'll see what happens. Severe weather threat is low right now across the southeast, but there is a threat for sure. So... Um, we're starting to get, uh, starting to see what we can see about early January. Can we get a winter storm threat for the entire southeast? But this is going to be a big threat for the, this storm is going to be a big threat for the entire eastern seaboard. It's going to be a washout for uh, New Year's Day. It sucks because Christmas Day was a big washout and, and record warm temperatures. Um, so <clears throat> maybe some backside snow can get going here. But that's all I got, guys. Uh, I'll keep y'all updated on the system. Lots, lots will and will change. So stay updated. Uh, thank you all for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.